today we are making a cake, but not any kind of cake. Today we are making one that's special from my childhood, a Barbie cake. Isn't she just the cutest? It's for my niece. Um, she's turning five and in full disclosure, all I was going to give her was a Barbie. <laughs> um, I found this one and I just thought she was so cute and I thought she'd really like her. They are, the girls are very much into Barbies, which is fun because my sister and I loved Barbies too when we were their age. And then I was laying down one night thinking about the Barbie that I was going to get to give her and excited for that. And I thought, Ooh, you know what would be fun? A Barbie cake because my mom did that for us, my sister and I, when we were really little, we had a Barbie cake. And then even when we graduated high school, we had this special diploma graduation Barbie and we had a fun Barbie cake then too. And so I've never done this, but I thought, you know what, let's try that. So I watched a video of someone doing it and that's all I've done, <laughs> but we're gonna see. And I also am trying to make this as simple as possible because the decorating is really where the effort is going to be for me. And so I just bought the icing. Um, if you can obviously make your own buttercream icing or whatever, but since we're going to need a little bit of it, I just want to hang out the tub. Um, so I have plenty to work with. And also because it's my first time, I don't know how much I really need. And then I picked up these decorating bags um, for the icing. Um, super cheap. Um, I already got one thing of the icing ready to go. And then um, because what we're going to do is we're going to build up the cake and then it will go right here and then she will flow out. So the cake will actually be her dress. And so I've baked three cakes and um, strawberry because that is my niece's favorite. And um, you can do whatever you want. I just did store bought cake. It's just box cake, but um, an eight inch round. A second one that was fuller and actually having a top is going to help out give us a little bit more height so that worked out so and then also a six inch round so um this came from one box cake and then this was another so two boxes of cake and um, pretty cheap and then i have buttercream frosting already in here when i watched the video they went on and they did it pretty thick um, and so that's what we're going to do so i'm just going to Cut it kind of high so it's got a nice opening. And here we go. They went kind of in a circle. Okay, so you know what I'm realizing is that I should have trimmed the cake before I iced it between the layers. Um, so that's a total newbie move. Don't do what I did. Trim your cake first, but there's no turning back now. So here we go. And I, they make nice knives that kind of go along with your icing um, to do this and icing specialty to do this, but I don't have one. So we're just using a good old bread knife. And I am, if there's any part of this that I'm actually intimidated, it's not decorating the skirt, though that should intimidate me. Um, it is actually trimming this to make it look like a skirt. So anyway, let's see how this goes. Again, total new noob. Okay, so my crumb layer is kind of a disaster. Um, being a perfectionist throughout this whole process right here, icing the cake. It was like, oh, I should just give up. This is not gonna look good. We just gotta stop. But I'm just gonna say, look, we're just gonna keep powering through. We're gonna stay optimistic and we're gonna give ourselves grace to be an amateur. You know, it is okay to be new at something and to not um, do it perfectly well the very first time. And so as long as you're having fun and you're learning and you're trying something new, that's really what matters. So, and there's hope that it's going to get better. So we're just going to keep going until there's no hope. And then that's when we give up. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think there's always reason to hope. So we've got our red. It's kind of pinkish. I'm going to try um, to do like a circle design to try to get flowers along her skirt. But we're going to start in the back just in case I mess up. There's one. <laughs> A million more to go. Okay, so 
so here is our cake and because her skirt her skirt has the little gold edges beneath it we're going to add oh, I have these little gold sprinkles and so we're going to add a few so y'all it is definitely not perfect um, you can see it's a little bit lopsided. There are more things that went wrong that went right, and I'm about to step in it. We've got icing on the floor down here, but, um, you know, overall, I think it's really fun, and I know that my little niece is going to love it because there's a Barbie, number one, and two, there's cake. She loves both of those things, especially strawberry cake. So, um, and the icing, being able to ice the top of it really just covers up a lot of issues with the crumb layer and if anything this was just a good practice for me and to push through that desire to want everything to be perfect and just to have fun give her one more twirl shall we Ooh, so pretty anyway her dress is beautiful and um it was just a lot of fun so I did take the better part of the morning, um, so I would be prepared for that, but it mostly because I kind of fumbled around with icing and um, doing it backwards here and there. So it may not take you quite as long, but um, I would prepare for that. So anyway, I hope that you're inspired and let me know what you think.